Who's recording me while I'm recording her? She's recording me while I'm recording her. But yeah, that's the current vibe. My mom's in my hair yesterday, guys, and I'm really digging this side part. I didn't shake my hair that well because I was on a rush, but hello, it's really, really giving. So when we get to the museum, I will show you guys all the ins and outs of Bianca Saunders' exhibition. And yeah, it's gonna be a great vlog. And I said it already, but if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe because it's gonna be a great time this year. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next step. Okay guys, so we're approaching the design museum. I had a ginger shot. Well, I lied. I had a turmeric shot. <laughs> Hold on, it's raining. I had this and it actually was so good and I had two bananas. Health is wealth, guys. This was actually riveting. It made me feel alive. I loved it. Anyways, we're going inside. the first um, piece of work we've seen of Bianca in the museum so far Bianca Saunders 2017 Mom's gonna listen to it oh I'm gonna listen to it as well here's her movie not my mom doing this <laughs> this magazine how to slay but most importantly, this magazine, What's New in 2004. I was actually two years old. This is so crazy. Well, I was still one then because it's January of 2004. But wow, time flies. So this is a choose your look kind of thing, powered by Snapchat. Okay, oh, not that. Okay, what about this? Okay, I could vibe with that. Ah, I'm a truck driver, I mean, bicycle rider. Okay, what other ones do they have? Well, um, take a picture. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This is funny. <laughs> I like that. Look at my recent picture. This one's very cute. 
is very, very cute, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I think now we're gonna go to another exhibition. Did you guys see what I saw the dress from White Chicks? Actually, look at this. Let me insert this right here. This is the dress they wore White Chicks. If you don't remember, this is the dress. They're wearing it. I love White Chicks. Guys, this is so cool. This reminds me of the Alexander McQueen um, exhibition I saw in Qatar. Very cool. They're all stood up like this. I love this very much. Guys, I just be spotting Bianca Saunders everywhere. And that is why she's on my mood board. Shout out to her. Bianca Saunders. BS. <laughs> Anyways, this is a cool room again. A stunning room. Stunning. Okay, what the heck? Okay, good morning vlog. <laughs> I have not picked up this camera since we was at the design museum or something like that. It is Monday the 8th of January. My flipping vlog hasn't even been put out yet because I've been so hectically busy. My vlog hasn't been put out yet because I've been so busy. But today, 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 I am gonna be in a photo shoot for a lip gloss brand. I've never really looked Ooh. at the definition. I've done this before, but I'm excited to do it. I mean, I'm not that excited to do it today because I've got a lot on my plate, but I know it's going to be a good day, so I'm not like, you know, stressed or anything. I just need to straighten my hair so it's nice for the day, but it should be good. It's going to be in East London, and I'm currently at um, my boyfriend's house right now. Just got out of the shower and I'm going to get ready. He is not even here. He is at the gym. He wake up. He woke up and went to the gym. And I can't go with him because I don't have a David Lloyd's gym card membership. Oh, that light's gone. Let me turn it back on. Oh, it's back on. Brilliant. But yeah, so that's the vibe. That's the plan for today. I'm gonna go to the um the shoot. I don't know what to expect. Like this is my like what third shoot or something. I was like. Ah, guys, I don't know. The thing, my thing is, I'm actually a secretly shy person. So it's like, ah, uh, I feel a bit awkward to begin with. People like, well, you're so quiet. I'm like, yeah, because I don't like talking <laughs> in public because I get shy. So it's a bit like, it's always a shock when people first uh, meet me because I'm just a bit like, ah, uh, awkward. I'm literally straight in my hair like a fool, but uh, flip. As of late, I've been so lazy with straightening my hair. Like, I would do it, but I just know that I didn't want to work. I did not want to work. The straightening is not giving bone straight. It's giving, it's giving I could have worked harder. I'm just tired of everything. And yesterday, I finally decided on my birthday hair. So, in like the next couple of vlogs, you're going to know as to why my birthday hair was such a hard thing for me to like um, decide on. And this is literally because something's happening and it kind of makes my birthday like um, awkward, if that makes sense. So I've literally just decided on my birthday hair today, um, last night in fact, and I'm happy with it. Because boy, before I was stressed, I was like, what hair am I gonna do? Da -da 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 -da. But luckily, my boyfriend has his birthday in the same month as me, so I can do that hairstyle literally 16 days later. So I won. <laughs> I won. Okay. I'm loving the side part though, but I'm not loving the fact that I can't do my edge as well. That's what's ruining my life for me personally. For me and my household, the fact that I can't do my edge as well is ruining my life. Let's talk about it because why I can't do my edges well just because I've never been like an edges babe. Like, I mean, I get edges when I get my hair done, but I never want to like do a bun and just do edges, you know. If I'm gonna do a bun, I'm gonna do no edges because hashtag lazy. This side's nice though. Just need to remember to bring my brush with me so I can brush up my hair. Let me do my ends because ends are important <sighs> I just need a flipping cup of tea that's what I need I don't know it's what time is it hey Siri what time is it 
Okay then. Hey Siri doesn't want to work today. That's a bit rude. Hey Siri doesn't want to work. Fez. Okay, just now for me to do the this side and that stupid edges. And then put my earrings in and I'm done. In my modeling era. What the heck? <sighs> this side is nice and straight. I don't know if you guys can tell because I'm wearing black on black, but it's nice and straight. And then I think in the evening, Joseph and I are going to go to Ikea to go grab some stuff for him, for his room, like a desk or something. And then like also grab a trackpad for his Mac, um, his iMac, because you know when you don't have a trackpad and it's like, it makes that weird, like, like weird, like scratchy sound, like. Ugh, that sound kind of cringes me out, to be honest. So we need to probably do that, but I don't know what he's going to decide because Joseph is a busy man. A very busy man. So who knows if he will have the energy to do that in the end. Every day I'm straightening this flipping knee out. Okay, so I'm just going to... I'm going to... What am I gonna do, guys? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the other side of my hair, but I might put on some suits because I need to watch some TV. I haven't watched TV in ages and I feel like I'm going stir crazy. Oh, I watched a good movie on Netflix the other day with my boyfriend and uh, it's called uh, White Boy Rick. Woo! That ate down. White Boy Rick ate down. I would absolutely recommend White Boy Rick. And you know, I'm not even a movie person, I'm more of a series person, but that was a movie and a half. A movie and a half, let me tell you. I need to put my contacts in, my eyelashes are a mess, but I'm hoping that I can just get strips put on top of my eyelashes. But anyways, let me just uh, do my hair. Mm. Can you let a man finish? I'm trying to make adjustments. Okay. I've done my hair. I've straightened it real nice, real good. No kinks, all straight. Uh, I just hope that my hair just looks nice because I'm doing a shoot and I've not done a shoot before where I do my hair myself, which is quite interesting because when I do cash shoots. Sometimes the models do them hair, their hair themselves. So that is very, very, very interesting. But, you know. I'm just going to just do my edges. I'm gonna do this one. And I cut it, guys, and I cut it too short, my side edge, because I thought it was too long. And then now I cut it too short. And then the thing about once it's too long and it's hair and you cut it too short, you can't go back until like another like six months. So uh, I've just gotta live with this short ass edge. Or like when I do my edges next time, if I get like braids or something, just bring down more hair. But anyways, edges time. I'm just gonna brush it down like so like that and brush it together. Okay. Get my baby pinky finger. Okay, that swoop is not good enough. The swoop it higher. Okay, that's fine. And then time for the main edge. But I need my glasses so I can be sure what I'm looking at. So I can just be sure that I'm not missing any hairs. Uh, do my edges really irk me? I swear down, guys. Like, I'll happily straight my hair, although I've been kind of lazy. But when it comes to my edges, I'm like, oh, I've reached, I've reached my peak. I've tapped out. I do not have the facilities. But oh, boy, okay. I think what it is, I just need to watch tutorials, but I just don't. That's my edge done. Okay, and I just have loads of flyaways that just kind of need to be tamed, but I'm at my boyfriend's house. I'm not exactly at the flipping, my flipping bedroom or my mum's salon where I can just have access to every single product for my hair. You know, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Okay. And also, I don't know what I'm going to eat today. So yesterday, all I ate was a banana and a kebab with just salad and sauce because i'm on a no carb diet right now it's been eight days and i haven't crumbled i almost did crumble yesterday because there was gonna be no option for me to eat 
and boy boy oh boy i don't know what the food's going to be on the shoot but all i know is that i am not i'm not trying to eat carbs that's what i know for sure my hair's cute let's tidy up hey vlog i am on my way to tesco's because the shoot is in about like 25 minutes or so and she said to wear a strapless bra i didn't bring a strapless bra so i'm just borrowed joseph's car right quick to go and get one and then once i get the strapless bra i'm gonna head to um the shoot oh not me <laughs> what the heck i feel like a nerd did you guys just see that i just literally knocked my glasses off my face like an absolute nerd so embarrassing but yeah i'm just heading to tesco so i can quickly buy a strapless bra because i need did i go the wrong way i think i went the wrong way yep i went the wrong flipping way brilliant um but yeah i'm heading to tesco's because i need to get a strapless bra um because she said to bring one for the shoot so hopefully tesco's has them I know that they sell clothes, but like, um, are they gonna have it in stock? That's the thing. Um, it's quite cold outside. It's so, wow, I didn't realize the camera was all lopsided like that. It's so great and so cold in London. Like, it's just so depressing. Like, it's not giving happy, go lucky, good vibes. It's giving down bad depressant. That's what it's giving. Let me turn on this thing, because I'm not gonna go all the way around and waste my time. No sir. No sir. So I, I'm in good time. I'm kind of nervous because like I said before, I get so shy. Like, the people that realize I'm actually a shy girly. Like when I was in primary school and secondary school and uni at sixth form, for me to talk, it, it takes a lot. Like I have social anxiety that I like to suppress. But people don't realize it because I'm so bubbly on like social media or something like that. But it's like, I just, I'm actually genuinely a shy babe on the low though, like, can't be expressing out in public because I got to put on the front. <laughs> ah! But yeah, so it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Like, there's nothing that should be wrong. It's going to be good. I can't believe I set the wrong turn in. That was so childish of me. The other day I drove... And I took three wrong turns on the motorway. And I just had to ask myself, Carrington, you've had a license for four years. Four years you've had a license. And you can't decipher the right turn on the wrong turn in. Should I have this license? But in my defense, I haven't had a car since... When I sold my car, I sold my car. I sold Keisha in, like, July. And what is... It's, like, February. I mean, it's January. So, in my defense... Fair enough that I took the wrong turn because I haven't had a car in a hot minute, so it wasn't my fault. But I should know better. Guys, it's literally hailing. Is it hailing or is it snowing? I can't tell, but it's white stuff coming from the sky. Maybe it's snow. It's ever so light and I couldn't I can't I can't deal with this right now because these lights are long. I can't deal with this hell or snow right now because my hair is straightened and I've got a shoot, so the hair needs to not do that. And another thing is, I've got my contacts in my pockets. So I need to put those in as well so I can have vision and sight. But yeah, I'm getting my makeup done. I'm kind of scared. This will be the second time I get my makeup done. So No, third time I'm getting my makeup done. So close back to back. And it's very off-brand for me. But as you know, I've been trying to get my makeup girly era. So this is what you do when you're trying to be a makeup girly. What the heck? These lights, man. Damn, I've been here for like 10 minutes. Finally, on the move. Anyways, back on track, because I flipped into the wrong time and I should have been there three minutes ago. So when I get to Tesco's, I'm actually running to the women's section, looking if I've got a strapless bra. If not, I'm gonna have to wear my bra that I'm wearing now and just like, you know, put it in the straps. Which is so ghetto, but such is life. Such is life. <laughs> Uh, why is it raining or hailing or snowing? Like, what the heck? I literally took the wrong turning. That was so stupid of me. It's unbelievable. But yeah, it should be good. 
And the thing is, I need to, when I finish the shoot today, it's a six hour shoot, which is very long actually. But when I finish it today, I need to go home, or I need to go home and edit my vlog. Uh, so that I can flip and come out because people are harassing me on my life and like Karen's on my vlog coming and I'm like babe I don't know because I haven't had five minutes of myself to sit on and edit the same thing but once I do manage to do that I have a vlog coming then I've got this vlog coming this week but I don't know what else is going to be in this vlog because we went to the design museum and then got the shoot I don't really know so I need to figure out what else is going on in my life <laughs> First of all, or maybe Ikea today, I don't know. Oh, I know, I'm getting a car this week. Oh my days, how can I forget? I'm getting a car this week. <laughs> Speaking of, I haven't had a car since July. I'm getting a car this week, guys. I know right now I'm driving my man's car, but I'm getting my own one. Ah! And I have, a, this is my third car in four years. Which is, not, it's not even that bad. For, three cars in four years is not that bad. I had my Fiat 500, Bad Little Vibe my polo Keisha which I never actually posted on my YouTube channel let me insert some pictures of Keisha on the screen right here R.I.P. Keisha she has been sold and I hope she's having a good time with her new owner because she knew that Carrington treat, treated her well me and Keisha we went together real bad and then I'm getting a new car which I think I'm gonna call Stacy uh, on Wednesday so I'm very excited for Stacy to come although I wasn't gonna get this car which is very interesting and I've changed my idea of what car I'm gonna get I'm getting Stacy uh, when you guys see this new car but I don't know if I'm gonna actually post this new car that I'm gonna get on Wednesday but it's gonna be nice I think what I might do when I get my new car is I'm just going to show just the inside because people are always ask me this question so I had my first car by little vibe I repeat to her as well and she was stolen and I would like put, I did like a car tour video, it's on my channel, you can even, I'll link it right here, not right now. And I did a car tour video and my car got stolen about six months after I bought her. And I swear, I was so triggered for like the next like two years. And even like some, I can talk about it now, but I kid you not guys, it, it genuinely hurt me bad. When my car got stolen, I hated everyone and I hated seeing Fiat's on the road, I hated it all. But then I ended up getting Keisha like me you know, six months later. And it was a very sad time for me because I like, imagine your first car getting stolen. That's nuts. Like I should have like stolen. But I believe my car was stolen by the people I bought it off. So I said to say when I had Keisha on my second car, the polo, I never posted her once on like my social media or on the internet. Like I was moving like I was I was like she was a child. I'm like, I'm not posting my child on the internet. No. Because I was just literally so scared of people seeing my car. Although I do think my car was stolen by the people I bought it off. I was like, I'm not risking this anymore. Because my car was taken from my, from my hands. And I've still even got the key for my old car in my bedroom. That's how much I wanted her to come back. Anyways, guys. Let's go to Tesco's. Yep, it's hailing. Brilliant. Can you see that on camera? This is nuts. Wait, it's snowing. It's actually snowing. Okay. Vlog, let me quickly run to Tesco because I know you're back and we'll continue this conversation because I'm liking this conversation. I'm liking this conversation a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. But let me run to the shop. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. I was in Tesco for literally less than four minutes. That's amazing. And then I'll oh, never my phone now. The studio is nine minutes away. I'll arrive there at 10.59, which is amazing as well. Starts at 11, not gonna be late. I hope parking's free though, because do I wanna pay for parking? Not really, but as I have my boyfriend's car, it'll be my responsibility if I get a ticket, because he ain't gonna be here, because it'll be my ticket. Damn. But yeah, so, Back to our good, good, nice, clean, ever blessed conversation. I was just basically saying that my car got stolen and I posted it on Snapchat because like my, my people were like, my friends were like, oh, maybe I should put it on Snap and see like if I could do like an appeal in case anyone sees it. But I genuinely believe that it got stolen by the people who had bought it off. 
and then guys, I got my car off Auto Trader, and that's supposed to be like a secured website and stuff. And then I went. Hold on, let me put my seatbelt on. I got my car off Auto Trader, and I found it in like whatever's area was like Hatfield, so kind of like um, Hertfordshire sides. And then I went to go and. Um, contact the people to let them know my car had been stolen and their thing on auto trader had been gone and just to come to find out that their whole entire company had had a name changed and it was weird because i needed something from them before and their name was kind of different and then when i went back to tell them my car had been stolen the name was changed it's clearly what i think what they're doing they do like a scheme but you buy a car from them and then a couple months later they steal it back and they resell it with a new license plate that's what i genuinely believe happened because what the heck and i saw the video of my car actually being stolen it was unlocked with a key because the lights flashed and i had two keys my sister had one and i had one and then the lights flashed the engine turned on and he drove off so clearly what happened was these guys actually stole their car back car back and so it triggered me so like every time i would go to get my car from my house i'll be so scared that my car would be gone the next day but now i'm getting a new car it's not a fiat it's not a polo and i'm excited for my new car it's very i'm, I'm kind of scared for my new car actually because i've i drove a fiat i drove a polo those are mini big ba mini baby cars i'm now going to be driving a big boy whip a big woman grown sexy car i'm small small character and i'm only like 21 i'm only like what 19 <laughs> so it's gonna be a very um it's gonna be a bit of a change for me for sure but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it on wednesday right now it's monday happy monday guys peace and love and i cut my hand damn i cut my hand i'm gonna insert the picture right here right now of when i cut my hand and then this is actually the aftermath. Okay, guys, I had to put my camera down because I have my camera up here. I, I'm not holding it. But I don't know if the police want to see that type of stuff, so I just thought I'd put it down. But yeah, I cut my hand yesterday or two days ago whilst I was trying to open a freaking avocado, and the blood was nuts. Like it was, it was so crazy. Not to be visceral, and now it's looking like this, and it's so sore. Ah. I'm so silly. Like, how can I cut my hand or open an avocado? I've been opening avocados for five years. Like, what the heck? How can I do that to myself? So silly, guys. But yeah, what else do I have to update you guys on? I don't know. I'm enjoying talking to my vlog because I just feel like I haven't been vlogging as I would. And I always say this, and it's so annoying that I say this and I go back on my word. But like I said, when I get my car on Wednesday, I can be back in the car talking because right now, if I was on a cab, I wouldn't be talking as freely because cabmen, they look at you funny. If I'm on the train, I'm talking as freely. But when I'm in my car, I can scream, I can shout, I can whoop, whoop, and toot, toot, you know? But like, I'm not about to do that on the Jubilee line. Let's all be so for real. Let's all be so for real. Baby. Yeah, that's it, really. I think that's it. My ETA is now 11. That's fine. Literally bang on the spot. I wonder what she's going to feed us. <laughs> that's a great question because I've had... I'm on a no-carb diet. I said this earlier in like the vlog when I was like doing my hair. I'm on a no-carb diet because I'm going away at the end of the month. And I need to look like I'm a flipping model. Skinny. Mini. Tiny. Itty bitty. Miss Itty Bitty Piggy. Words to Nicki Minaj. So I'm on a no-carb diet and i need to know what the food will be because i'm not going to have the carbs i will politely politely decline hopefully there's like some chicken or something or a salad i don't know i don't know and especially because it's also five hours long six hours long the shoot is which i think is kind of long but i suppose there's a lot to shoot i guess and i don't know how many people are going to be there but what should I get there, guys? You're not gonna get a single word from me. I'm gonna literally be shut mouth, silent, zip. I'm not saying zilch. Quiet as a quiet person. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm almost there. East 
London is actually very nice. Like the new apartments they've built in East London are very, very nice. But then again, it's East London, so it's been like this is kind of the ghetto. The ghetto. I know I'm from South, but like, come on, South is better than East. Am I biased? Yes, I don't business. Ah, uh, anyways, two, one minute away. Let's see what the studio is saying and everything. Uh, I'm excited, but I'm yeah, I'm not hungry though. I'm not hungry because I had a cup of tea, and cups of tea actually fill me up. And I think also because I've been eating less because of my diet, it's kind of like suppressed my hunger, so I don't feel as hungry as I would if I was like eating like regular food. And I don't think I'm about to break my diet for this. Because it's only been eight days. I must can have some willpower. I must can. I must can. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm excited to see the other models. I'm excited for the day. I'm excited to vlog. I'm excited for the content. I'm excited for my car. I'm excited. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, one minute away, but it looks like I'm not even there yet, so I don't know where it is. Where is it? Where are it to be going? Like, what the heck? It's one minute past. I'm officially late, but like, I think I know where it is down that way. Because where it's directing me to go is on the main road. So it must be down this back road. But I don't know where this road is. to 11 and I'm about to go in the shower my makeup's still on 
not my glasses mark on the face. <laughs> About to go in the shower. Just need to put my hair up and wash my face. I put this thing on that I got from the shoot today. Um, it was giving like, oh, Regina George and like Sharpay when they like, you know, do their glam. So I'm just gonna put my hair up and, you know, get ready for bed. It's been a day, but I think I'm gonna give like, actually, let me come back. <laughs> let me come back when I get my, not this again, when I come back, can't speak. Yeah, the shoot was good vlog. I was just very, 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 very shy. I've been, this is the shyest I've been in a while. Like, I need to forget how shy I am as a person. And I just get so embarrassed that I'm so shy. And then like, it was really cold in there. So I couldn't um, get comfy. And then I was, I was shy, so it was just like, <laughs> why do I have to be so difficult? But besides that, it was a good time. Had a nice old time. And yeah, the, the girls were lovely, but it was just like me in my internal self, you know? And like, I always forget that I'm still shy. Like, it kind of sets me back to when I was in primary school and I was so scared. And I got this on the shoot as well, very cute. It kind of sets me back when I was in primary school and I would like be so shy. Like, I remember like it was yesterday, I would actually struggle to talk to people because I felt uncomfortable or shy or embarrassed or something. And yeah. I don't know. It's something I should work on 2024 because my sister's like, how can you be shy and like you make all these TikToks? I'm like, mind your business, Bianca. Mind your own. But yeah, so I'm just gonna hop in the shower, wash my face off and go to bed. So that is it for this vlog for today. I'm gonna probably come back. This car in my hand has been bugging me all day. But I'm probably gonna come back on the vlog at some point or something, I don't know. But I will see you guys on another day, probably tomorrow. We didn't even go to Ikea again. Maybe we we'll go to Ikea today, I don't know. But I'll see you at some point tomorrow. Vlog, love for the love my G's. Have a great time until I see you in like three seconds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vlog. <laughs> I have not picked up the camera to vlog in, I always say this, I have not picked up the camera in a hundred and million days. I haven't picked up the camera to vlog in at least three days. And a lot has happened in that three days. Wow, I'm running out of storage. And, 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 my camera's dying. So I've got to be very quick when I tell you guys this story. Okay, sorry guys, my camera ran out of storage, like, so embarrassing but i came on here to say vlog i got a new car so i know the last clip you might be seeing or the couple clips back i'm like oh i'm gonna get a new car i don't know if i'm gonna post it because i'm gonna get a new car and our car got stolen and blah 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 however my car is here it's irl live in the flesh i'm driving her her name is stacy but you know so like i had planned on like how i was gonna kind of like say that i got a new car and stuff but i was gonna like go home and like after work just now and talk to you guys and be like oh i've been keeping something from you for my family for my life for myself and the thing i've been keeping is that i've got a new baby i have a big baby actually this ain't no small oh i'm getting a call daniela's calling me hi daniela a question okay do ask okay so vlog i am back i had to quickly answer a call that daniela called me you heard and yes i got a brand new car not my voice breaking i got a car right and it's got red seats as you can see it's got red seats red interior all that it's got a pan roof it's got like interior lighting and all that crap but my problem is, guys, that I ordered this car, and the guy was like, oh, like, do you want one with red seats? And I was like, hmm, okay, why not? But deep down, I thought, okay, this could be kind of edgy. It can go either one of two ways. So the car comes, and I'm like, I don't like the red seats. Like, I'm literally not sure about the red seats. I need you guys' advice 
on the red seats right here whether I should keep them or bin them not bin them <laughs> not bin them keep them or get them changed to all black because I don't like um the red like I'll be so real it's just really I realize it's not a bit of me sorry I have to change the light because it's making me look weird okay that's a better light but my camera is somewhat somehow dying so i've got to go but what should i do guys comment down below i might have to end the vlog on my phone should i do a car tour i don't know my car got stolen in my last like three years ago but i don't know if i should do a car tour or not should i change my seat so all black what should i do what should i do but i really want to talk to you guys so i'm gonna have to vlog on my phone because my camera is flashing at me saying it's going to die and that is bad vibes so yes let me just start the vlog on my phone because that's so wicked so nasty so rude anyways <laughs> okay vlog so as i was saying i have gotten a new car i have a mercedes and i didn't even post my old car on my youtube channel once my old car keisha rip to her i sold her some time ago i didn't post her once i had an 18 plate polo and i loved her to the ground like the only time my car would be able for people to see was when i was literally taking like a snap of the song on my screen like i'll insert a picture on here but now i ouch but now i have a new sorry I, i'm taking my nails i took off two of so already sorry but now i have this new car i'm like should i should i not because this is a big girl boss fly girl thing like it's a big car like i know you see that pan roof i know you see this i know you see those light those interior pink lights i know you see it so i'm just like what do i do do i do a vlog or do i not but i do know for sure that in i think I mean, next week or the week after i'm doing a drive drive with me so you guys will see like me talking about my car more then but i was like i have to kind of end the vlog with you guys see my new car because i was meant to show you guys two days ago and i didn't get around to doing it because my life is so hectic life's improving fast look at that german guten tag word to my guy aj tracy or someone whoever said that minanoa minanoa see man driving a german whip like do you get it like a new Benz just to sit up word to my home girl J T. but yeah I'm, I'm kind of hype but I just don't know if I should keep the red seats or not because I feel like it's gonna clash with things I wear and really and truly I don't even like the colour red so why I agreed to get in a red seated car Minanoa I do not know I think I just did it because it I thought it was a good idea my boyfriend was like yeah it'd be a good idea it'd be a good idea meanwhile I don't even like it but yes, other than that, I'm in love with my car. I'm so grateful because I be working so hard. I be working so, so freaking hard. And now look at the car that I'm driving. Because literally, I went from a Fiat 500, which I loved. Let me not downplay my Fiat 500. To a uh, Polo, which I didn't actually want, but I ended up really, really loving her. To Stacy, my new car. So I had Bad Little Vibe, Keisha, and now Stacy. And... I'm just very excited. I'm very excited for the vlogs to come because I've been saying, oh, I can't vlog without my camera. I mean, without having a car because of my transitions, my transitions. Now I've got a car, so I can do all the vlogs. I, I, I can talk my freely talkings. Oh, and let me show you guys my window, my roof opens. Let me quickly show you guys. Guys, I came in from work, so if my hair is not straight, it's because of that. Uh, oh. Not me calling Mercedes me. I don't need your help, sorry. See, I'm not used to these high-tech cars. Anyways, let me show you guys my uh, window, which opens, which is so cool. Ah! Can you guys see I'm out of the car? Ah! <laughs> my window opens. Let me show you guys. <laughs> this is literally what i'm working with like it's so cool and another thing is i have black ceilings again so in my uh fiat 500 i had a black ceiling and i loved my black ceilings i love them i love them but in the polo they don't have black ceilings it's only that gray and honestly the gray ceilings don't be hitting because when i'm snapping and i'm looking fly as um 
sorry i'm making fly as and i got a gray ceiling it doesn't hit like that but i love this like everything about this just gives yes and you guys want to know another cool thing about my car is that it's got heated seats like okay guys my boyfriend has been a mercedes guy been 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 a mercedes guy and i was like why would you get a mercedes for your first car it's so flashy blah 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 and like now that i've got one i see why you get a mercedes for your first car well i don't but like third car mercedes it kind of makes sense that in february i would have been driving for four years it makes sense it's like i'm a business owner i am graduated it just makes sense like I, i'm a grown little woman <laughs> so that's why i got it and i'm still deciding whether i should say what mercedes i've got and show like the whole shebang but this is the most i've ever shown my car on my channel in like three years so i'm still kind of a bit like ah is it too much four years in fact i'm like ah is it too much i don't know i don't know i don't know bye guys thank you for watching my youtube video please like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one and hopefully the next one's real soon but we'll see <laughs>